Hey y'all, this is David, the Georgia photographer, and today I'm just talking to the camera. To get things started today, I was just walking around the property here, shooting a few photos of things with the SL2, and I've got a 50 millimeter Nikkor on here from way back in the day. Um, if anybody wants to look it up, it's a 50 millimeter F1.4, and it's serial number 401. 8865 yeah that'll tell you exactly what model it is i'm using i have found that it's it's got some weird artifacts wide open at f1.4 that would probably do really cool effects for like um, vintage style portraits but you stop it down to f2 and almost all of it goes away like pretty much almost all of it as you can see in these little photos of this widget i was photographing on the power pole and at f2.8 they do go away but you don't buy an f14 lens to shoot it at f2.8 so you know buyer beware anyway i was wandering around the property today and i was just taking photos of things and i was just deep in thought about the camera industry as a whole and i just wanted to bring this up for a few minutes the camera industry has went through a metamorphosis over the last few years now everything's mirrorless, mirrorless this, mirrorless that, mirrorless this, mirrorless that. And you have kind of two camps of photographers. You have the DSLR camp, and then you have the mirrorless camp. Of course, I'm speaking purely digital here. We're not we're not including the, the film camp because all of them are in a unique category all their own. The mirrorless crowd is slowly but surely absorbing the DSLR crowd. Now once everybody is basically in the mirrorless world which like i am now what you have is you know it's basically like the dslrs were so i figure there'll be 10 or 20 years of mirrorless cameras before they're completely obsolete by whatever's coming next and you know it kind of seems to be running its course that way maybe even happen faster who knows I think you'll have mirrorless cameras for at least a decade, maybe two, maybe two. And then the next piece of tech will be invented. The, the tech is advancing, but it's slowing down. I think that whole Moore's Law thing has kind of run its course at this point with technology. The updates and the model changes and all of that are kind of getting to be incremental to the point of it's not necessary to buy the next model. You can wait one, maybe two model changes you know, skip a couple generations before you see significant change in the model you use. It's kind of gotten, because of Sony's release rate, to the point that they do yearly model releases. That's a relatively recent thing, okay? Only the car companies are the things that I remember of from being a kid that came out with annual new models. They didn't really make, you know, VCRs and stuff would come out with updates, but it wasn't that big of a deal, you know? When they went to wire, like wireless remotes, yeah, you know, but they'd go a year or two, it seemed like. Clock radios didn't change for a decade. It, <laughs> you went from a, a electric clock with a needle for an alarm clock, and you set your alarm on that, to the little cards that flipped one at a time per minute. They would click one little card at a time. I actually liked those clocks, they were kind of epic. And then you go from that to the digital seven segment displays, the red kind of square numbers. But that transition in time took, you know, 20 years to go from the dial electric clock to the, the little clicky plates that had the numbers on them to the seven segment display and then the seven segment display was i think they still make those you know it wasn't a new version uh, breakthrough design every single year because it's a clock radio it it tells time and wakes you up in the morning and it has a radio in it it plays music when usually when it wakes you up that's that's what it does these take pictures just like the dslrs did just like the film SLRs did, just like the film rangefinders did. This is just a camera. It doesn't really do anything different from what it did 30, 40, 60 years ago. It captures a moment in time 
and saves it to some sort of medium. So all of this talk about the new model cameras, I finally figured out why all these YouTubers are constantly doing the new release stuff. It's so that they have something to talk about. It's gotten to the point with my channel that if I'm not doing a lens review or a photo wall, that's all I got to talk about because I don't chase the new model releases. So since I don't like buy the stuff as soon as it hits the market, then I got really nothing to talk about in that realm. I see the struggle for the creator who has a genre specific channel to stick to that one sole topic forever you basically run out of stuff to say my channel may be taking a new direction next year it's still going to be me but it's going to be me talking about things other than just my photography i'm sorry if um, all you want to see me talk about is photography i'm out of stuff to say guys <laughs> literally uh -huh. other than just fabricating something out of thin air or making up fiction stories i guess but i don't have anything else to tell you that's value added i'm i'm just out so i think this next year is going to be the year that i start branching out into like my machine tool work that i do like i'll show some of that and my ham radio stuff and like general things i do like when i work on my truck I'll just take you guys along for the ride. You know, if, if nobody watches it, nobody watches it. I get it, you know. If it's boring, it's boring. You know, my videos aren't the most exhilarating videos on the market anyway. So, this has been a long-winded talk. So, until next time, this is David, the Georgia photographer. I appreciate you sticking it out to this point in the video. Get your camera out and go take some picture with it, all right? Have a good time. Bye-bye.